precious souls. Welcome to a twin flame journey. I'm Aura and this is a podcast on twin flames. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There are times when we are going through a dark night of the soul where we are easily triggered or we are just simply overwhelmed, even overconquered by our negative thoughts, and it could be difficult to move forward or even to concentrate for that matter. But one of the things that we should always keep in mind is how close we are to our twin flame. We are closer to them than anything else in this world, and nothing, no one can ever change that. That is one of the aspects of this journey that many struggle with, and it can delay twin flame reunions, but it doesn't mean a reunion isn't going to occur. That's where we get lost sometimes. You are an infinite being, and as such, you should really come to know that it doesn't matter when a reunion happens, how it happens, why it happens, that you are coming to know yourself your true authenticity. You are coming to know who you truly are and others may attempt to interfere with that path to pull you out of that alignment, but in all reality, there is no stopping something like this. There is no changing the path that you are meant to be on and that includes with your twin flame. We, we come into this world with nothing, no materialistic things attached to nothing, and we leave this world with nothing. But we leave in a place of peace, knowing that all the extra things that we have in this world, all the extra details that come with living on earth as human, don't necessarily matter. It is how you feel. It is what you are attracting or attracted to. If you are attracted to negative people or negative energies or people who put you off your path, perhaps your vibration needs a little cleaning up. And if you are attracted to your twin flame, if your if your focus is upon your twin flame and if you are obsessively thinking about them, then maybe you need to do a little bit more work. But if you are just going about your day and doing the things you've always loved to do or things that make you feel happy and joy and they bring you peace and all of a sudden you just think about them, they simply pop into your mind and you feel at peace when you think about them, it's because you share this consciousness together. But when we are attached, when we struggle with letting go, it's the fear. It's that fear that we can have of losing something that we feel like we will never have. It's not about ownership or being attached to anything because without involving your ego self, without needing to own or be attached to an idea of a perfect relationship, the perfect partnership, or even materialistic things, With you needing to own anything, you realize that you are everything. Your twin flame is part of that. It is part of, they are part of you. They don't go away. They don't disappear. And our attachments to romantic relationships need to change in today's world. Even our attachments to outcomes with specific people need to change. Because without that attachment, you just come to know that you are everything. You are love. You are the unconditional being you came to be and have come to know after all the pain, after all the suffering, after all the things that these energies have come to shift your existence, to shift your reality. You are your twin flame. So let go of what your twin flame is doing in the 3D. Let go of the karmic relationship they are currently in. Let go of the no contact they have chosen to do in the 3D. That isn't their authentic nature. They have a job just like you have a job. They have a job to trigger the parts of you that no one else could reach before. They have the job to bring out not just the most vulnerable, but the most receptive individual, the most pure, humble, and detached person. 
they have the job to prepare you for this union, this physical union that is unstoppable. And it doesn't matter if it's romantic or a powerful friendship. That does not matter. Don't stop yourself from continuing on your own path, being your true authentic self. Don't stop yourself from creating, enjoying, and living harmoniously. Don't stop yourself from going after that new career, that new car, just to do it. Don't stop yourself from moving forward or trying something new just because. Because you're hindering yourself from living a prosperous life. And fear. Fear of what? You have nothing to be fearful of. Your twin flame wouldn't want you to fall behind or not rise above. They would want you to be love and be that unconditional, infinite being. Even if they aren't showing you that in the 3D because love between twin flames just is, and it always is, that will never change. So, this concludes this podcast. Until next time, I'm Aura, and this is A Twin Flame Journey.